Uh, good day, viewers. My name is Peter Sen Mashango uh, from Refuel in Kalinen. I am a qualified tour operator and a national uh, tourist guide. Um, I've been doing tours since 2002, and uh, my tourism qualif qualification I've studied through UNISA. Uh, Kalinen is part of the Nugeng project, which is a, a hub of the Nugeng project. The Nugeng, it covers areas from Kalinen, Rodeblad, and the Nugeng itself, the Game Reserve, and Central the Nugeng. Um, Kalinen is known for history and the diamond experience, and also uh, township tourism. We've got the township of Refilwe, which is rich in history of uh, the descendants of the mine workers who worked in the mine as early as 1903. When the mine opened, um, it was owned by Premier Transvaal Diamond Mine by Thomas Kalinen. And just outside Kalinen, there's a, uh, there's a settlement of Onferwacht, which is also rich with um, the history of um, the four trekkers, uh, the Cape Malays, the Kalats, Africans, and Europeans. Back to Kalinen. Kalinen is rich uh, with the diamond history. The mine started in 1902 by Thomas Major Kalinen, and um, the production of diamonds started in 1903. So we do tours in Kalinen, both underground and surface tours. So on the underground tour, you go to a 763 meters level that is below the ground, uh, where you visit workshops, offices, uh, the crusher plant, the old tunnel. So basically, we give you the whole experience of the mine. And we give you a, a full PPE where you wear overalls, goggles, boots, helmets, and also give you an ox oxygen mask for in case of emergency. So when you go underground, you look like a miner. That is the, uh, this is the only mine in the world that can give you that experience. We, the surface tour it covers uh, things like the model of underground tunnel. We go to the diamond display room where we, where we tell you about the history of diamonds from as early as um, 2,500 years ago. And uh, we also uh, show you the shaft, which is the production shaft that bring up um, the diamond bearing rock, which is called kimberlite. Uh, we show you the hoist room, that's the machine that pulls up the skips. And um, the last stop will be the, the big hole, which is more than uh, double the size of Kimberley. So that's where the mine started as an open pit in 1903. Then for diamond lovers or jewelry, uh, people that love jewelry, we take to a jewelry shop where you can buy rough and cut, uh, uh, sorry, polished diamonds and jewelry. The tour, underground tour takes about four to five hours and uh, the surface tour is about one and a half to two hours. So on the surface tour, we, we accommodate kids from the age of 10 and from, for underground from the age of 16 years. Uh, Kalinen is also rich uh, as a wedding destination. We've got wedding, conf wedding venues uh, that can accommodate up to uh, four to 500 people at a time. Uh, also conferences, uh, we've got uh, uh, um, state-of-the-art um, uh, venues where you can host your conference, either business or product launch. Accommodation is also uh, available for anything from self-catering, guest houses, and a, a, a hotel, which uh, started in 1905. Uh, it's called Premier uh, uh, Hotel, which is based in Kalinen. So Kalinen actually can accommodate any travelers, uh, any travelers ex uh, needs or experience, because we also have uh, Adventure Zone, which is um, a, a place where people that uh, people with adrenaline or people that want to uh, 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 engage in sport that can actually um, test their physique. Uh, we do the zip line, which is the fastest uh, zip line in the country. Uh, you can do uh, drumming, archery bushwalk, rock climbing, and, and more. Uh, the history of uh, Refill starts back from 1975 when the township was established by the Lebua tri uh, Tribal Authority because as I've mentioned that the history of Kalinen uh, is, is a mining history and in Refilwe we give you the history of the descendants of the mine workers. Most of them are from Limpopo, which was formerly a, 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 a homeland of um, 
Leboa. And um, the Kosa people from uh, two former homelands, Transkai and Siske. So in Refil, you find mostly Sipedi speaking people, which are from Limpopo. So the, the, the tribal authority of Limpopo, of Leboa, sorry, they actually came and negotiated with the mine on behalf of their people. So the township was established in 1975, and in 1976, that's when it built a hostel, a community hostel, to house uh, mine workers. 20, 250 units, house units were built for families. The, 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 uh, the hall was built also in 1979, Don Fraser Wall, and, and other buildings. So the township now it has over uh, 19,000 people that's in the main area and uh, including the other surrounding areas will be about 32,000 uh, people living in, in, in Refilo itself. In Refilo you can um, experience a township uh, tour where you visit a hostel, um, visit the traditional healer where you can ask about African uh, uh, healing procedures or, and uh, from there you can even consult to, if you may want to know about your future. We take you to the local restaurant, can be a Chisanyama or a place where they sell Bani Chow or Spatu or Kota. And the other place that we visit is the Slimes Dam, where you can view the dam of the mine. That is, that, uh, they started to use the dam in 1957 to store the mine water. We visit a community uh, projects such as uh, Refilwe uh, Orphan Care. A Tsepong Center for, Dis for, Dis uh, for Children with Disability. Lishidi House of Safety and Vuguzenzel Agricultural, Agricultural Project where you, uh, women and uh, men are trying to, um, uh, to, to, to grow uh, food as part of food security because as we know that um, unemployment rate is very high in the country and also with the current uh, COVID-19 it also added on that. So there's people that are trying to survive by growing their own fresh produce. The tour of Refilo, it will take about three to four hours. You can either do the tour uh, on the bicycle, on a, on a vehicle, can be a kumbi or a private car, or walking for people that like to walk. In Onferwacht is a history of the Natrakas or the Fort Rakas that came after the Great Trek of 1838. Um, the community was a combination of all human race, Europeans, Colors, Africans, French and others. Then unfortunately these people when they arrived there it was just an open area. They built churches because they brought a strong Christian faith with them. So there's a church that they back in uh, 1780s. And um, unfortunately during uh, the time of um, President Paul Kruger, he visited the community and said to them, um, you need to help me to fight uh, against the British. That was the second um, South African war or known as a second anglo Boer war. He said, if you help me to fight the British, I'll give you this land for free. But if we lose, we have to move. Then, um, unfortunately, we know that the British won against the Afrikaners or Bures. Then they were expecting to be kicked out of the land. Paul Kruger came back after when the war ended in 1902 and he said to them, I know that we lost, but for your participation or effort, I will still give you the land for free. The name changed to Onferwacht, which means unexpected. Unfortunately, uh, during the Second World War, um, the new National Party won the elections and um, D.F. Malan became a prime minister. He visited the place because it was part of the Transvaal province. Then he said to them, uh, the place is too black to be white and too white to be black. Then that's when he started to remove people from Onferwacht. People with dark uh, skin complexion were sent to places like uh, Buputazwana, and now it's part of Northwest. Kalats, uh, people with, with, with uh, uh, light skin, skin uh, 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 complexion to ESTRS, just outside Mamilodi and colors with fluffy hair back to Cape Town. Only whites remain or Europeans remain in Onferwacht. But they changed again in 1994 when people returned back to Onferwacht. So the history of Onferwacht, it covers those elements.